Hello, I'm Captain Kenny Baker with the Oklahoma City Fire Department. Today you're at Fire Station 34, and I'll be giving you a tour of Fire Engine 34. We'll start with the officer seat. As captain of Engine 34, this is where I sit. We'll start off talking about the headset. The headset is what we use on the way to calls. They're like earmuffs. We put them on so when the siren is on, we can hear each other. And also it has a microphone attached so we can talk to each other as well. The next thing is the mobile data computer known as the MDC. The MDC gives us vital information on the way to the call. It gives us the address. It gives us the type of call and also important notes that we need to know. So while on the way to calls, we have a radio. A radio is how we talk to our dispatchers directly. The dispatchers talk to the citizens di directly and they're able to relay critical information to us. The back of the fire engine has three seats for three separate firefighters. Back here, the firefighters have gear and some, some equipment. The gear that they use is their bunker gear. They have helmets, have hoods to protect their ears and your neck. Also have a face piece, uh, have bunker coat, have gloves, bunker pants, and bunker boots. All this equipment is back here so they can put it on and be safe while they respond to emergency calls. Next, we have the fire hoses. We have different size hoses. This is important is because this is what we use to put out the fire. We also have a booster line, also known as a red line. The fire engine, what it does when it arrives on scene of the fire, its job is to put water on the fire through these fire hoses. To get that water, we use this intake. This is very important. So what we do is we take fire hose from the back of the engine, we hook onto the fire hydrant. We take that same hose, hook it into the intake. Once we're ready for water, we open up the fire hydrant, the water comes from the hydrant into the intake, and we use it to put out the fire. This is the compartment that we use when we have fires in tall buildings called high rise buildings. We take this blue hose, which is lighter than the normal hose that, that we use, we put it on our shoulders. We walk up the stairs to the fire. Once the fire is located, then we hook this hose up to the building that's on fire, its water supply, then we extinguish the fire with this high rise hose. Next, we have a spare compartment for our oxygen, extra oxygen bottle, and we also have a fire extinguisher. These tools are very important. We have here a set of irons. These set of irons are used to pry open almost anything. It can be car doors, it can be a house door, or anything that we need to get into to help our citizens. This here is our EMS compartment. Our EMS compartment is very important to us. Every station in the city of Oklahoma City has a paramedic, and this is the equipment that the paramedic uses. We have trauma bags, which take care of injured people who are hurt in car accidents or falls or anything. Also, we have our medical equipment for if someone is sick, they're having trouble breathing, uh, any type of medical emergencies, we're able to use this equipment and take care of the people who need it. We have a toolbox in here with various hand tools. Also, we have safety cones. We mainly use these safety cones on car accidents to help keep us safe. We have this water jug. We use this water jug when we're on scenes for an extended amount of time to help keep us hydrated. Our next tool compartment, we have a sledgehammer. We have what's called a Halligan tool and also a pickhead ax. These tools are similar to what's on the other side. The driver's compartment contains adapters and appliances. These adapters are meant to connect two different hoses of different sizes to extend hose lines. Also, we have nozzles. We have different nozzles in here. We have a foam nozzle, which we use on foam applications. Also, we have what's called a combination nozzles, which spray different patterns. Uh, we can spray a fog pattern. Also, we can spray a narrow stream pattern. Next, I wanna show you the pump panel. This panel is important and we'll get to that in just a second. Now we have the driver's seat. 
The driver's seat has many different controls. It has its emergency lights. Also, it has the sirens and it has an air horn. The air horn is important when we're driving down the street. We don't have to look away and hit the steering wheel horn. We can just use our foot to hit the air horn if we need to use it. Next, we have the pump lever. The pump lever engages the pump. Now we'll go back to the pump panel and I'll show you exactly how we get water to fire. All right, this is the pump panel. This is where the driver comes to give water to the firefighters. Once the firefighters get off the back, they choose which hose they want. If they choose the middle hose, which is cross lay number two, the driver sees that it's cross lay two on the, the lever. Also, it's color coordinated. White color here, a white color there. So once the firefighters take the, the hose to where they need it and they're ready for water, the driver pull this lever. Once they pull this lever, the water from the fire engine goes through the pump and it goes through the fire hose to the firefighters so they can extinguish the fire. Also, we have a fire monitoring system. This shows us how much water we have in the tank of our fire engine. This fire engine carries 500 gallons, which on your typical active house fire, going through 500 gallons usually takes about two to three minutes. That's why it's very important for us to hook into our fire hydrants. Once we hook into our fire hydrants, connect here to our intake, then we have an adequate amount of water to supply this fire engine. Again, this is Captain Kenny Baker with the Oklahoma City Fire Department. Thanks for taking a tour of Engine 34 and keep an eye out for additional rig walkthroughs. And remember, we're here if you need us.